What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. I want to wish everyone a safe, happy, and prosperous new year. Today is January 1st, 2024. A little after 9.30 in the morning. I got a busy day, ladies and gentlemen. Busy day. Before we get started with today's service call, I have an interview at 10 o'clock to fill Josh's position, uh, the residential plumbing service tech. Fairly straightforward job. You arrive to a customer's location in a fully stocked truck, clean, organized, in a nice clean uniform, similar to what I'm wearing. You meet and greet, you diagnose the problem, you discuss ways, sorry, you discuss why the problem occurred, how to fix the problem, and most importantly, how to prevent the problem from occurring again. Pretty straightforward. So I got a 10 o'clock interview for a gentleman who saw our ad on Indeed. Hopefully that goes as well as planned. And then immediately following which is what this video will be, a service call for a customer in Elmont. We haven't been there in a while, but they got no heat. He's an 80 plus year old gentleman. I originally gave him the price of 270, I'm sorry, 225 trip charge to come out at 275 an hour. He goes, Mike, it's a lot of money. I can't afford it. I was like, I'm sorry. As I'm walking the dog, he calls back the dogs, plural, two of them, Gigi and Stoli. As I'm walking the dogs, he calls back Thinks he reached another company, starts asking for the prices. I said, listen, we just spoke about a half hour ago, but I'll tell you what, if we go out, I'm gonna take care of you. And you know what, what better way to bring in the new year of 2024 than to help those in need? Yesterday, I went on a similar emergency service called not too far away, and we sold them a Well McLean CGA4 gas fired boiler. I just started pulling the material for that job right here. And that'll be on Thursday. All right, guys, smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. There's zero cost or obligation. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, 10 minutes to 11. I am at my emergency service call. We are in Elmont, which is in Nassau County on Long Island. Uh, we got a customer with no heat here. Um, couldn't afford the 225 emergency trip charge and the 275 emergency hourly rate. So I told him, you know what? You're 80 plus years old in a cold home. You know what? I got you. Let's go. Let's go take care of Good morning. How are you, sir? Uh, how can I tell you? I don't know. You good? I think I'm doing good. What is that? This is my magical red carpet. There you go. I like wiping my feet on my carpet versus my customers and clients' carpet. Got no heat? No heat. I got that. <laughs> Let's see the thermostat. It had to be in the middle of the night. In the middle of the Christmas, that may, uh, in the middle of the holiday it. weekend. Yeah, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, is this is the thermostat right here, the Nest. This is the yeah. Why is it not doing anything? Does it normally do something? You gonna wake it up? Come on, motherfucker. <laughs> the minute they go, he's, he's, they chew up something. Uh, apagado. Apagado. You know what that means, right? It means hello. Shut it off. Shut off. It off. Sin energy, in, in, no in, energy. Interior, error 70. Okay. Error, error because it, the switch is, is not, the, the, the cover is not put the switch. That's why he's uh, error here. Uh, I'll show you. Okay. I'll show you the machine. That, uh, okay, let's go see. You got a furnace. My son 
the, the, they, they put these, uh, uh, the burners or whatever was, I don't know, uh, almost 12 years ago. Okay. He told me that this could be that one. I don't know. But he said, you better call somebody to tell you what's wrong or what is right. And he, two months ago, I blew all the dust and all the shit out of here, right? Yes. But when I put this on, all right, let me, uh, let me see. When I put this on, yes, to start work, okay, a little, a very weak flames coming out of there, okay, and after that, no bueno, no trabajo aquí, no trabajo aquí, sí, un poquito de español, okay, <laughs> you know what? Because maybe abogado, what did it say? Ab ab what did it say? Off. There you go. I hear something. I hear something too. But that's it. That was just a click. What does this say? Uh, what brand furnace is this? Looks like maybe. Uh, Goodman, maybe. Yep. I don't know, but this, this money, this way they work. Well, now it's not. Yeah, right. It's scared. All right, I'm going to get my tools from the truck. Yeah, okay. And, um, uh, yeah, he's... just don't hurt yourself. All right. I've got the switcheroo in place. We had to click on the integrated control board. We have a solid status light. And this White Rogers 50136-730. That's our capacitor right there. Blow motors back there. Let me get some light and see. Fairly clean there. Not terrible there, but. Okay, so our inducer motor. He's on again. Yep. So that's what he. Good. So our inducer assembly is running. And once the pressure switch senses that pressure, it's going to close. And as long as our limits, that's our plenum limit, high limit, roll out, roll out, roll out. Oh, sorry, roll out, roll out. There's a flame sensor. Here's our gas valve the burner and the burner manifold. Let's see what happens. We have a hot surface igniter right there. Nothing yet. We are flashing on our indicator light. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's find out what three means. So the inside front cover for the serviceman. Three blink blinks is pressure switch failed to close. So check the venter, the pressure switch, and vent blockage. That's three blinks. So when this thing did kick on, we did have some abnormal noise when it turned on, but let's get our manometer out and check our pressure. Carefully remove it so we don't disturb anything with the pressure switch. Here, the pressure there. Let's turn this on. And we're getting, let's do on positive side. Alright, 1.73. So let's put back our pressure switch. Now I'm going to carefully remove the two wires going into the pressure switch. our voltmeter, check for continuity at the pressure switch. I 
I like to touch it together first. Now we have two terminals on our pressure switch. Got continuity there. We have continuity there, then why is it reading pressure switch open? Hmm. Looks like we may, may have had a issue with our pressure switch because now we have ignition. like we may have an issue with the pressure switch. Let me uh, kill gas off, turn power off, turn gas back on, and let's power cycle this again. <laughs> All right, so power cycle number two, our inducer assembly gets 110 volts. As long as my rollout switches are okay and closed, that sends pressure on that black tube to the pressure switch there's our hot surface igniter so the pressure switch is closed and allows 24 volts to go to the gas valve which then sorry which then sends 110 volts control board sends 110 volts to our hot surface igniter once that's on we get our gas valve getting 24 volts and as long as the flame sensor sets its flame we have continued ignition all right, so now we're gonna do a little test. We're gonna test the heat exchanger, if it's cracked or not. I have my manometer set on there. We're going to turn power on, and I am going to turn our blower on. All right, manometer's on zero. Let's jump out R and, R and G. And we have no pressure change with the blower on, on the pressure tubing. Okay? So our heat exchanger doesn't have any cracks in it. for our blower to kick on, see if we have any deviation with flame. Waiting for the blower to kick on, here it comes. Pretty consistent. Good. Any questions? Any questions? Yeah. Can you pay my bill? Can I pay your bill? I was talking the phone in the program. Anything else I can do for you? I said, yes. <laughs> what can I do for you? Pay my bill. <laughs> Yeah. Well, as promised, uh, we didn't charge you the emergency rates we, that we normally charge for today. So the trip charge is 115 The hour of labor is $225. Uh, you have tax of $45.95. And the All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, one minute to 12. Still January 1st, 2024. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the entire, uh, all the support from the community. You guys are amazing. Um, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comments section down below. Even the criticism. Let me know if I missed anything. Uh, I did off camera uh, set my uh, oh, uh, my clamp on ohm meter to read max and put the blower door cover back on. Um, again, it started out, I think it was at 19 and a half, but that's that first second. But with the door off, I was running at 1.1 on that blower motor, which is a little 
uh, whatever, it had some dirt in there, but the blower wheel looked pretty clean. Uh, I did ohm out the hot surface igniter, that was okay. And the only other concern I see here is with the loud inducer when it first turns on. But for now, it's working and it is what it is. I'm not, you know, ordering one. It's just, I got the model number and serial number in House Call Pro on the pop property profile. I also uh, got the model serial number of the 50 gallon water heater was sitting next to it with that eight feet of four inch flue pipe. Uh, I made them aware about those little plastic uh, grommets on the hot and cold inlet and outlet. Uh, and I made them aware, like, listen, if you ever see that melting around there where the where the draft hood is, uh, that's because, you know, your, your chimney is not drafting the way it should because you probably don't have a liner and what have you. But I try to give my customer, especially ones that are mechanically inclined like this gentleman was, you know, he already had taken the covers off, his, he did his own little research. Uh, but I try to give my customers, the ones that are mechanically inclined, just enough information where it's not dangerous <laughs> for them. But um, I like to just build value, build relationships. And the next time that they need a plumbing or a heating or air conditioning issue in their home or in their office, they're going to call me, Pipe Doctor 5 one six three four eight six three zero zero we're in woodmere new york and charleston south carolina and partnering up with plumbing and air by tom orlando florida i'd love to help you if you like some business consultation services are available email me mike at mikeypipes.com let 2024 be an amazing epic year for you and your family i'll catch you on the next one if you're not calling mikey pipes you're getting screwed there you go That's right.